Canopen Magic is a high-performance tool for developments with Canopen Networks providing a wide range of functionality. In this video, we will demonstrate how to scan the object dictionary of a node for known and unknown entries using Canopen Magic Professional or Ultimate. This feature can be useful in seeing all of the settings a node currently has in one go for debugging, testing and documentation purposes. The first thing we need to do is define the node. Go to Network, Edit Network Description. Click on the yellow plus to add a new node. Now select the Electronic Data Sheet, or EDS, for your node. This is important because it tells Canopy Magic what entries are supposed to exist in the node's object dictionary. Next, we need to change the SDO timeout to something suitable for this particular node. This value affects the scanning speed, so using a value that is longer than the node's response time, but not too long, is ideal. To do that, go to View and then Preferences. Under the Canopen Protocol tab, enter the SDO timeout. Now we can open the window that shows the node's object dictionary. Go to Add and then Node Object Dictionary. Note that Canopen Magic allows multiple copies of this window to be opened. This allows side-by-side -side comparison of nodes. We can see that the table has already been populated with the entries from the EDS. Click on the Read button to read all of the entries shown in the table. For each entry, we can now see the raw value read and how that is interpreted using the data type for the entry. For example, entry 1000 is an unsigned 32-bit value. The status column shows helpful information. For example, we can see that the value stored in entry 1000 does not match the default value in the EDS. This is not necessarily a problem, so it is flagged as informational. The status column also shows errors, such as aborts that the node returned when attempting to read an entry. These are indicated in red. If an entry is marked as write-only, then an attempt to read the entry will still be made, however the abort message will not be regarded as an error. We can trigger a reread of a specific entry by clicking on its read button. For example, entry 6401, sub-entry 1. We can also set up periodic reading to monitor the value in an entry. To do this, check the periodic read box for that entry. The read period is set using the drop down list on the toolbar. Multiple entries can be added to the periodic read. New values can be written by clicking in the value box for an entry. For example, the heart reproducer time is currently zero. Let's change that to 1000. Now let's change it to 2000. We can go back to a previously written value for an entry by using the history feature. To access this, click on the pen icon next to the value and choose a previous value from the list. Now we will look at more advanced functionality. When using Canopen FD, Canopen Magic automatically increments the USDO session ID. We can set a starting value for the session ID by choosing it from the drop down list. Sometimes a node will have undocumented entries, which are entries that do not appear in the EDS. It can be useful to not only find these, but also to confirm that none exist. We can scan for hidden entries by clicking on the toolbar button. Now choose the range to scan. The window will show an estimate of how long the scan will take. This is based on the assumption that a node will send an abort within 10 milliseconds. The subindex range can be chosen from a predefined list 
our custom value is entered. We also have the smart option. This will attempt to read subentry zero, and if it does not exist, kind of a magic will assume higher subentries also do not exist. If subentry zero does exist, then it will determine if it holds a value or the highest supported sum index. While scanning the current entry is shown on the right side of the toolbar. If we scroll to the bottom of the table, three new entries have been added. The entry names are highlighted in yellow and are marked with the word hidden. These are entries that do not appear in the EDS but are in the node. Values for the entries are shown. Because Canopy Magic does not know the data types of these entries, it is assumed unsigned values. Finally, a report could be generated based on the contents of this window. The Preferences window contains settings that can be used to customise report appearance, including using a template and predefined styles. Click on the Export Toolbar icon to generate the report. The report contains some general details about the node, such as which EDS is used. It then lists all the entries that appear in the EDS, along with the values and the status information. After that table, it then lists the hidden entries. I hope this video has demonstrated how a node can be quickly and easily interrogated to determine what its object dictionary contains and report generated for documentation purposes using Canopy Magic. Thank you for watching.